Hey, we're, we're live here at the uh, Camp Bluegrass backstage with Hunter Walker of the Long Point String Band. And uh, Hunter, you, your instrument that you play, a little different. We don't see a whole lot of dulcimer in, in bluegrass. Tell us a little bit about how you started playing it and uh, about the instrument itself. Yeah, not a lot of uh, mountain dulcimer in, in bluegrass and even old time bands, but um, uh, my first endeavor with music is my grand. I wanted to learn. I like uh, my grandpa played guitar in church, and I was fascinated with that. I love country, bluegrass, and gospel. And uh, all my other friends are playing rock and roll guitar and stuff at the time. I wanted to be a little bit different, so I picked up the mandolin, played that for about a year, and uh, met up with some uh, people at Tamarack in Beckley, West Virginia, which is a space for uh, West Virginia artisans. And there was a luthier there making dulcimers, and they were having a jam session. And I picked the, the dulcimer up from there and started going to the the southern uh, old time uh, festivals and uh, Clifftop Appalachian String Band Festival and things like that and learn from learn tunes from fiddlers as opposed to uh, sort of like what's typical in the dulcimer community. So uh, and the band as a result of uh, some friends that uh, just got you know, started picking together and we got hired for something and eventually just getting more gigs and here we are. So talk about a little bit about about the the music of your band and uh, uh, you know I know you, you incorporate some old time but it really uh, is a very modern bluegrass flavor to, to everything that you play. Yeah, so we we like to be flexible. If need be, we can be a straight up old time band banjo. I play you know um, uh, call her banjo as well and fiddle and and we could do some more of the more traditional stuff. Uh, the guitar player came from a, a bluegrass background. He played for ten years in another bluegrass band. So we just kind of take what we like and put it all together and you know we want to we want to sound relevant we don't want to uh, sound like something that you could already just pick up at a record store you know uh, it's definitely like you said unique instrumentation so we want to take full advantage of that now get, getting back to the dulcimer because i meant to ask you this uh, your style of play uh, is that the way people usually play a dulcimer uh there are some that play uh the way the way that i play um, the dulcimer is traditionally played with a noter, which is like a stick in one hand, and then uh, a feather quill in the other one. Now, most of the days, if you go to a dulcimer festival now, you won't see that. Uh, you will see them using fingers and picks and, and such as that. But uh, I like to think my style is unique. There are some other players that I, in the beginning, uh, emulated and, and, uh, and admired. But uh, playing at festivals like this with banjo players and fiddle players and um, you know, just folks that uh, would be glad to let me listen to them if I like what they were doing, just sort of shape my style. Now, uh, what, what's uh, ahead the rest of the summer for the band? Where, where are you headed? Oh, we're booked. We don't have a free weekend until September, so we're thankful for that. Um, we're going to be um, doing a lot of stuff, in, of course, back home in uh, Beckley, West Virginia, and the surrounding areas of uh, Fayetteville and Southwest Virginia. Um, uh, we're traveling in total to, let's see, West Virginia, Virginia, Kentucky, Tennessee, Pennsylvania, and Delaware uh, between now and September. Um, sort of, as far as we can see right now, the, the end of our uh, summer looks like it's going to be the Great American Dulcimer Retreat. In, in Kentucky, in Eastern Kentucky. So any festivals uh, coming up that people can see you guys at? Uh, I'm sure there are some. I have my guitar player here. Hey, Brian. Brian Bell. Uh, one festival that you'll catch us at, it's not necessarily a, a Long Point String Band or show or anything like that, is the Appalachian String Band Festival, which happens in Clifftop, West Virginia. About 5,000 people show up for a week, and it's nothing but jamming. There's a old-time contest, neo-traditional contest. In fact, um, I've placed and have won the neo-traditional band contest there. 